What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Epic Assassin and this is the Epic Gaming Channel. Today, we're gonna to be talking about a little piece of tech I picked up on Amazon for about 50 bucks that I think is gonna help some two PC streamers out there in case you don't wanna have that extra keyboard and mouse on your desk. Before we get started, I'd like to remind you, I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday from 7 to 9 Eastern. You can also catch me in my community Discord and on Twitter. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So, I've been using this guy on my two PC setup for about two weeks now, and I'm really enjoying it. I wanted to clean up my desk space, make it more aesthetic, so I wanted to get rid of that extra keyboard and mouse from my two PC setup. So what this does is it has two USB ports on the back that you would plug into one PC and the other, and four on the front. These are the ones that can switch between the two PCs via this button. Not a game changer, but it's a really cool piece of tech it was only like 50 bucks and this is for the more expensive version and the reason this one is more expensive is because it has up to a 5 gigabyte per second transfer speed because you can also hook up an external hard drive because it's capable of USB 3.0. Anyways, this was meant to be a short video so I'm just gonna say that it's a plug and play device. There's nothing really special about it. No software that you have to download. It's just you plug it in. You press the button and you're switching back and forth and there's only about a second of delay before it switches so if you can deal with that second you're gonna be fine with it and since I don't really use my stream PC for anything other than streaming and recording it's a really cool piece of tech and it saves a lot of space on my desk now the one thing I ran into when I plugged it in is that input sound that your computer makes when you plug something in. Now, you can change that sound or you can just turn it off. I turned it off for me so I don't hear it every time I switch back and forth because I know if I'm switching midstream, I don't want my audience to hear that sound. Uh, not that I'm switching midstream a lot like that, but it's just in case. So. In order to turn that off, all you have to do is go to this little search, hit change system sounds. This will come up, and as you can see, mine is turned off to where it says no sounds. So Shortly after I finished recording last night, I was going to publish the video. I was researching stuff for SEO and trying to get the best click rate and everything, I came across this app called Mouse Without Borders. I'll put the link in the description, but this app could replace the KVM switch that I was showing in the video. Um, basically what it does is you connect your two PCs via the network at your home, and it works like a dual monitor setup from there. So. You can see my mouse moving around here and now I'm over on my stream PC. You can't see that, but it's there. It's really cool. I was super excited when I found it. Um, again, I'll put the link in the description. You can save the money and not buy the KVM switch. I keep mine attached because it does save me USB space and it gives me a couple of extra USB ports. And also, if for some reason this app starts to bug out, I still have that ability to switch back and forth to where I don't have to plug in my extra keyboard and mouse. Um, it's a really cool alternative. It's free. And I think you should check it out. Uh, back to the rest. And this is what it looks like when that app is installed. As you can see, I am just going back and forth between the two PCs like nothing. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. This has been a short video. I just kind of wanted to show you guys this piece of tech. I found it. I thought it was really cool. Wanted to share it with you guys. If you're not subscribed already, please do so. 91% of the people that have watched my videos are not subscribed. 
So, if you will, and you want to help out the channel, hit that subscribe button. But that is all. Thanks for watching.